My friend Eric and I are going on a road trip through Europe. To meet some of the best pit masters and discover hidden food treasures. In this episode, we will go to the largest barbecue competition in Europe and eat some of the finest pork. Good, to, good see to see you, man. Yeah, good, good to see, see you. You, you ready for the Sevens Road Trip? Oh, yeah. Look at this beast. That's cool, right? Yeah. So, first stop, uh, Rupert. Rupert Barbecue. Rupert Biggest barbecue. barbecue competition in Europe. Here we go. Let's roll. This is going to be epic. Road trip. Whoop, whoop. The KCBS competition is about traditional barbecue. It's like the traditional American barbecue with brisket and spare ribs and, you know, it's like 80 teams competing yep. from all over Europe. They got even American teams coming over here to compete in this competition. Uh, there's a big crowd coming from Germany, but also from the Netherlands to, to just check out the teams, have a lot of fun. Well, we got a couple grills in the car to take two to the 10. Whoa, whoa! You gotta lift it, Eric. Hey, brother. get this baby roaring, we'll have it at about 200 degrees Fahrenheit. This will be my low and slow. I got some massive tomahawks and stuff like that. That's what's up. I'm gonna get these babies going. We're gonna crank this up to about 250 Fahrenheit. I'm here to get some inspiration for the barbecue. I like to take out the queue in the garden and make people happy. 312 degrees Fahrenheit, the Maillard reaction occurs, the proteins turn to sugar, the caramelization, that's where you get the flavor, all right? Not from sauces and crazy rubs and stuff. Let's taste the meat, yeah? Almost there, folks, almost there. Barbecue is for me, it's a friendship and uh, it's fun, it's uh, nice people, good food, it's a have party and it's a hobby and it's nice and tasty and uh, I love it also, all the way, it's great. When I cook pork sometimes, somebody's like, oh my gosh, what is that flavor, I can't believe it. Barbecuing is something that is, is not fast, it's, it just takes its time and you know that the time is worth it and in the end of the day we'll have great food. Uh, barbecue is about being together, having fun together, having, uh, enjoying nice food, smoked food. You know, and they come and then they grab a hold of it and then you cowfish and if you can bring them close enough and grab the horn, you win. You know, so we had some fun with that today. Keep going hard, folks. This is a flank steak. This is the best. Getting the chicken off. Germany loves Kamada Joe, so that was very exciting. This is just day one of the road trip. You know, yeah, it's you, been fantastic. You did an amazing job, Eric. You, Boom. We did an amazing job. Well done. Next stop. We're heading to a pig farm in the Netherlands, and after that we're going to visit a mill. It's going to be epic. Six more countries. One done. Six to go. Let's go. Back to the Netherlands. The land where it always rains. Left or right? Left. Out of gas. I never expected to be out of gas already. I did. We, we, we gassed it up yesterday. Yesterday evening. Yeah, but... We only drove 
Two hours. This thing gets like uh, <laughs> like eight miles to the gallon, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Just want to go ahead and take this opportunity to thank you for setting us up in a in an asylum <laughs> last night. Literally, did you know I that was a freaking know, asylum? I didn't know. I didn't know. But they got enough corn to feed the pigs. That's for sure. We have to produce food in a way that is sustainable, that is possible for years and years and years after now. When was this moment that you realized that this needed to happen? Uh, it was 20 years ago when I was in, a, in an education with uh, farmers from other branches who are already creating their own brands and they had their own vision on food production. So we have to change the food game. We're gonna cook this a bit of a different way, aren't we? Yes, we are. You know, they put so much effort in creating this lovely cut of pork with the old heritage pig that he used, and it's gonna taste amazing, but we wanna give it something extra. We wanna have some really nice, authentic Dutch dish. Yeah. So we got a, like a roast set up. Got some beets here, got some leeks, some apples, some different kinds of sweet potato and purple potato, herbs, obviously, uh, all kinds of different things. So Pitmaster X, we got this amazing pork roasting downstairs. We're at the very top of a 250-year-old windmill. What we're in here. You, you see these things everywhere around the Netherlands. You know, every town used, or village used to have one. You know, the farmers came in, bought their grains here, get ground down to flour, bake bread with it. You know, it's, it's, it's something that's part of the, the Dutch uh, heritage, you know. Wow, look at that. This is, this is what we're looking for. That crust. Yeah, that's gonna taste delicious. That's really nice. 